It looks like a ship. Mark 317. Roger 317. It feels like a ship. I might have to take this off because I do feel a little bit seasick. And for officers at Britannia Royal Naval College, this is about as close to actually being on the bridge of a ship as they can possibly be without stepping on one. It's the latest in simulator and virtual reality technology that's transforming the way naval training is carried out. So before we had a very much older simulator, it was uh, some 20 years old. Um, uh, it didn't have the same fidelity, didn't have the same navigation systems, didn't have the same radar systems. Um, we had the old picket boats, um, didn't have any radars on them. You know, so this now it will help you know, condense the training and, and, and produce officers that will be more successful. Range 4.5 nautical miles, I have a large power driven vessel. These personnel are on the Initial Warfare Officers Foundation course learning how to operate and navigate a ship. There are two rooms with simulators called HMS Beagle and HMS Adventure. And this one has been set up as a Type 23 frigate, but can be transformed into an array of vessels. So we can put you anywhere that we want to put you, you know, anywhere in the ocean. Uh, we can control the sea state, we can control the visibility, we can control whether it's night or day. So what you can do is you can cram uh, a lot more training into a far more condensed amount of time. So for example, one hour in the simulator is probably the equivalent of four hours at sea, because we can do so much more here and we can control the shipping. So we can control what shipping situations they're going to have to deal with as officer watch. With these new uh, navigation systems that we have with these new simulators, it's exactly the same navigation system as they're going to encounter when they go to the ship. It's exactly the same radar system as they're going to encounter when they go to the ship, which means that we're not training them on something they're never going to use again. And so, you know, we can change the radars because different ships have different radars and we can change them in the simulators. Both rooms are surrounded by screens, so you can get that realism of being on the bridge of a ship. But for manoeuvres like replenishment at sea or coming alongside, the virtual reality headset gives you a better sense of what it's really like. Oh, wow. So if I turn and look this way, I can see the radar, and it looks like I've got a Royal Fleet Auxiliary ship coming alongside, and I can literally look down and see the back of the ship. It does actually feel like you're moving. Oh, we've got some snow. We've got snow. Lovely. And nice big waves coming along too. And uh, it, the skies can turn completely white. And I might have to take this off because I do feel a little bit seasick now. It's really weird. What's shown on the screens and in the headsets is controlled by a computer operator. The small red dot on the image traces what I'm looking at with the VR headset on. It's extremely immersive and I may not have found my sea legs, but what's it like for those who are using it in training? Pretty cool. A bit weird actually because it's, um, it's a bit like a video game in a way, but like a really cool uh, high-tech video game. But no, it's really cool. Um, I think um, just like a real warship, obviously, you can't like zoom in like a, in a game and see what, what vessel is there. You have to you know use the binos on the on the on the QM's chair and uh, see what what vessel it is. And I think I struggle with identifying the vessels and is it a Rule 15 situation, Rule 18 situation? You know what, what am I doing here? Um, so I think it's actually good that the sim is really that realistic because you're not just playing a game. You are trying to figure out what situation you're in and what you need to do to get yourself out of the situation. If I think if we didn't have a sim as good as this, I think I'd definitely have doubts going onto a real bridge. Um, and I think having this background knowledge and having the foundation um, learning here is really important. Um, so when I go on to my next phase of training, um, I'll have that confidence to, to, to do what I need to do. The Royal Navy has more than doubled the number of simulators it has across various establishments. At Britannia Royal Naval College, for those at the beginning of their career, it's a vital step in understanding the maritime environment using sophisticated technology. Brianie Williams, Forces News, Britannia Royal Naval College, Dartmouth. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.